After her sudden and tragic death, the church family of a 14-year-old softball player killed in an accident honored her during a special church service tonight. Emily Galliano was at a team dinner getting ready to leave when a fellow teammate accidentally backed up and ran over her. Emily's pastor tells us softball was her life. Her coach called her a tremendous talent and the loss was truly felt throughout the community where her mother was a teacher and her twin sister also played softball. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn has the story tonight from Forney. Lynn Ann. Well, Steve, Heather, dozens of Emily Galliano's friends came out to a prayer service tonight to remember her. Some were wearing their softball team jerseys, others wearing T-shirts with her number six in her honor. Those who knew her say the community is hurting tonight, but her team has made a choice to continue playing for Emily. Just a sweet spirited, kind uh, young lady. Community Life Church pastor Randy Wade has known Emily Galliano and her family since she and her twin sister were about five years old. Though Galliano was just 14 when she passed, those who knew her say she made those 14 years count. I guess it's not the number of years you live, it's how you live those years. I've been in her 14 years. She's clearly made an impact on this community. Um, and and her, her memory will, will live on for a long time. Wade says Galliano was involved in youth ministry and had a big circle of friends. Wednesday night, a room full of those friends came to the church's prayer service to remember her, wearing her number six. I think they want people to remember her for the life she lived, which was a life of kindness, uh, just gentle spirit. By many accounts, Galliano was incredibly close with her twin sister, Madison, who tweeted, I lost my best friend, sister, roommate, teammate, etc. Rest easy, baby. Everything I do is for you now. I love you. Both girls played softball. Emily Galliano quickly rose through the ranks. Saw her talent and uh, moved her up to varsity where uh, she came in and played unbelievable for us. She was at a team dinner Tuesday night on the eve of a regional semifinal softball tournament when a 16 year old driver and teammate accidentally backed over her. She was airlifted to Methodist Hospital where she later died. Meanwhile, Galliano's team made a choice to move forward with the tournament. One teammate short, but full of determination. I made it up to them. I said, it's up to y'all. What do you think you can do? And one of the seniors stepped up and said, Coach Idle, we want to play. We're going to go out and try to do the best we can in her memory. And the Kaufman County Sheriff's Office says that that 16-year-old driver is not facing charges. Meanwhile, Galliano's team was supposed to play tonight, but that uh, game has been rescheduled for tomorrow night at 6. Other teams tell us that they plan on wearing yellow ribbons tomorrow night in Galliano's honor. Heather, back to you. All right. Lynn Ann, thank you.